Audi A5 Cabriolet 2.0 TFC 252 Quattro S Line S Tronic 2017 Review From 29,205 pounds 8 point The new 2017 Audi A5 Cabriolet is faster, stiffer and more efficient. But enough stats, is it more fun in the sun? Well yes, of sorts. What is it? We Brits are second only to the Germans when it comes to the number of convertibles, such as this Audi A5 Cabriolet, sold in the, air, Milky Way. Or is it Europe? Anyway, it doesn't matter because it's right. We've heard statements such as these a million times before, and so what, who cares about prosaic sales figures? It's the emotional side of cars we enjoy, and what we should be asking is why, why, on an island where drizzle counts as clement, do we buy so many open tops? Two reasons, perhaps. The plucky Brit stiff upper lip for one, balderdash to bally drizzle, will not let a drop of water stop us, and secondly, our optimism and sense of fun. Yes, it's raining now, but so what? At some point the sun is bound to peekaboo from behind a cloud, flushing our veins full of the essence of life as we was down the B1243 towards Nirvana, with nothing but God above with a thumbs up, smiling down as we smile right back. Well, something to that effect. Above all else then, this all-new Audi A5 Cabriolet needs to be fun and make us smile. So, does it? What's it like? Although we've denounced statistics, here's one that may pique your interest, this new second-generation A5 Cabriolet is 55 kilograms lighter than its predecessor. As we know, lighter is good, so along with a power boost of 22 bhp and the injection of an extra 15 pounds foot of torque from the car's upgraded 2.0 TFC 252 petrol engine, nearly a second has been slashed from the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint. And as if someone were thrusting cake at you quicker than you could eat it, it'll still manage another 5 mpg and emits 18 grams less CO2 slash km. Plus, being a petrol and Euro 6 compliant, Mayor Khan will beckon you into London without the need to pay a T-charge toll. The A5 Cabriolet's standard 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox is mostly smooth and snappy bar the usual jerkiness at slow speeds. And if you put it into manual mode, hold the car in third and accelerate, you'll discover a very linear power delivery all the way from 1500 RPM around to 6000 RPM, when it finally starts to wane. Which also means solid if not scintillating performance, with the ability to get past lumbering lorries in the hinterland without too much stress. So, it's great then? Ah, uh, no. Remember that sense of fun we targeted? Well, this is an engine completely devoid of character. Linear it may be, but there's no exponential power explosion to encourage you to rev it to the final furlong, or indeed oral delights to stir the soul. A mildly gravelly, but mostly insipid, four-pot whimper is about your lot. That said, with its main rivals, the BMW 430i and Mercedes C300, having just four cylinders too, you could argue it's merely a sign of the times. Nevertheless, it does beg the question, why choose this petrol over the silky charms and even greater frugality of the 3.0 liter TDI 218 V6 diesel? We mention this simply because the A5 Cabriolet bowls down the road with such a supple gait that the effortlessness of that diesel would suit it better. And if a petrol doesn't give a pleasing soundtrack either, Surely the 3.0 V6 is a no-brainer? You see, with the adaptive suspension set to comfort mode on our Spanish test route, the car never thumped or thudded once, even when aimed with the deadly focus of a hunting hawk at the one and only pothole we encountered. And other than the odd shimmy through the steering column, body rigidity was so good, considering this is a long car with no roof structure, that the claimed 40% increase in torsional stiffness over the previous A5 Cabriolet might just be a statistic worth believing. And while it's not going to fizz your senses like an M Sport Spec 430i, tautened up in dynamic mode and thrown at a challenging section of bends, 
the A5 Cabriolet does keep its cool and stays composed, even with some tricky undulations thrown into the mix. The steering is also accurate, if mute, and there was even a moment of promise when, exiting of an off-camber roundabout, the rear playfully rotated with a squeeze of the throttle. Sadly, this proved to be a one-off, and subsequently the A5 just gripped and went, with only tedious understeer if we overcooked it. Still, somewhere in that deeply conservative chassis setup, there's potentially some fun to be had, and otherwise it's totally safe and secure. Otherwise, the A5 Cabriolet is quite fabulous. At speed, its acoustically lined hood is smashing at insulating you from the outside world, and with it down a process that requires just one touch of a button and is achieved in merely 15.0 SEC it's bluster free with the windows up, too. So much so that you can chat to your passenger, hold a telephone conversation, it even has microphones in the seat belts to facilitate this, or enjoy the punchiness of the optional Bang & Olufsen stereo, with ease. Should I buy one? So, fun. Well, that depends on your definition of the word. With this engine, the A5 Cabriolet is probably not shown to best effect. And if you are looking for a convertible with on-the-limit delicacy, then a BMW 430i will serve you better. Yet for a car that wafts you around with a sense of J-E-N-E say is qua, the Audi A5 Cabriolet is quite charming. So, for easy, carefree and relaxing fun in the sun, then yes, it is fun. Audi A5 Cabriolet 2.0 TFC 252 Quattro S Line S Tronic. Location. Spain. On sale. April. Price. £45,630. Engine. Four sills in line, 1,984 cubic centimeters, turbocharged, petrol. Power. 249bhp at 500-6000rpm. Torque. 273 pounds foot at 1600 to 4500. Curb weight. 1710 kilograms. Gearbox. 7 SPD dual clutch auto. 0 to 62 miles per hour. 6.3 SEC. Top speed. 149 miles per hour. Economy. 43.5 mpg. Combined. CO2 slash tax band. 149G slash KM, 28%. Rivals. BMW 430i Convertible M Sport Auto, Mercedes C300 AMG Line Auto.